beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back. So yesterday for you I uploaded the Pink Religion First Impressions video and today we are doing the full review of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like a pretty cute Bible. It's very pretty. And here's the inside color scheme. Jeffree Star's first ever like all pink palette which is surprising because it took him a really long time to come out with his like signature color of a palette. But without any further ado guys, today we're going to do swatches as well as a look using a couple of the deeper shades from the palette since yesterday's look was very very hot pinky and like we use lighter pinks too so i'm gonna give you swatches a full look as well as my overall thoughts at the end so without any further ado let's get started real quick i do want to give a quick shout out to my brand the open i have a huge restock i just like worked the entire day before restocking everything everything is made by me by hand everything is packed and shipped out to you just by me it's my own little small business i'm trying to expand so if you guys want to support it i have tons of candles wax most accessories all that good jazz and now let's get started with the swatches so Firstly, we have the shade Princess Crown, which we used in the previous First Impressions look, which is kind of a see-through shade. We also have Saint Star, which we also used, a very light peachy shade. And then we have Frosting Colt, which feels like a creamy, buttery dream. So swatching them in order on my hand here, here are the first three shades. The next three are Pink Religion, Strawberry Youth, and sugar savior which are these three shades swatched out i would say that the sugar savior out of these three is my least favorite just didn't swatch the best however the other two for mattes performed very nicely moving on to the third row we have prom night diva and lollipop luxury prom night and uh, lollipop luxury are jeffree star songs from back in the day this row are all mattes. I would say the Diva shade out of this one, which is the middle shade here, did not swatch the best. But as we saw in the previous look, it is a pressed pigment, so it's not going to swatch as well. It's something you have to pack, 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 and then blend. But it does give you that pigmentation, and it will stain your eyelids, so be careful with that shade. The fourth row is Jeffrey's World Candy Cathedral in Pink Fever. This was a little bit of a crumbly shimmer, but it was absolutely beautiful. And I was actually really impressed by the Jeffrey's World matte too. Here are the three shades. This is Jeffrey's World. It swatched out better than the Pink Fever, which we used in our last look, but overall like really beautiful shades. So row five is Beauty Killer, Holy Fire, and Fashion Faith, which are this row right here. I would say my least favorite one is this orange right now. Like it's the only orange in the palette, but it really didn't swatch that well. But again, it could be a pigment. I'm not really sure. So that is this row. So the last row is Handbag Queen Doll's House LN, Doll's House LN, Lane, Doll House Lane. And then the last one is Vatican Vanity. So honestly, when I swatched this last row, they came off kind of an ashier tone, which normally I'd be like, ooh, these didn't swatch good. But I really like the muted tone of this purple. I don't like purple eyeshadow, so the fact this is kind of a cooler tone, and this one has like a very cool tone, is intriguing to me. But overall, I don't feel like the Doll House Lane pink matte swatched very well. These two I kind of understand they could be a cooler tone. This one didn't swatch well for me. But now let's get started with the look. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base in Fair and we'll get started. Alright so now that we swatched them I've kind of felt everything and I've used a bunch of the colors already. I want to do kind of a halo eye for this look. So my eyelids are primed. I'm gonna take this little Buff and Blend E39 little stubby kind of dense brush right here and I'm gonna pack on a color first. So I'm gonna start off with Beauty Killer, which was this one right here. Kind of a berry tone, a little bit on the deeper end. I'm gonna tap off our excess, and I'm gonna go ahead and start packing. So I'm just packing this on the outer and inner portion of my lid space. I'm gonna go back in there, pack a little more, and I'm not gonna blend it out yet. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna add another color on top before we blend it. So this is what my eye look looks like right now. It looks like a mess. I'm actually going to take a smaller blending brush now. Now that I have some color packed in, it's probably not going to move on me. I'm going to take this little, black, this little blending brush. I'm going to go into Handbag Queen, which is this deep berry shade that really didn't swatch that well. I'm going to tap off the excess, and I'm going to go on top of that previous shade and then connect it over the middle. This one has a little bit more of a purple hue to it. So it gives me more of a berry tone. So you can see this one's more pink. This one has more of a berry tone to it, which is nice because you don't want just, you know, a whole bunch of shades of pink, which it really does seem like we have in this palette, but it works. I don't know. I, I wish there was like one cream shade in here, like a ivory shade or something just to help blend the edges because some of these pressed pigments and stuff may not, you know, blend as well as I would like to. Like my camera auto adjusting my lighting today oh my gosh it's so annoying 
but you know, I understand you don't want to put a light cream shade in every single palette. I guess it seems repetitive. But with pressed pigments and stuff, you can reach into another palette and pull that shade to help blend your edges a little better. I'm just not going to use anything but the palette I have in front of me for this look. Now, I really wish there was a deeper shimmer in here. We only have three shimmers in this whole palette, which is this one, which is more of a topper kind of see-through. We have this beautiful creamy shade that I've already used, and we have this Candy Cathedral, which is a really kind of a crumbly texture, honestly, but very pretty. So we don't have like what I would ideally want for like a really deep, beautiful, you know, halo eye to match these, a lot of these darker colors and the orange. So that, since we don't have that, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of my eyelid primer now and put it in the center of my lid and we'll put, you know, a brighter color in the center and we're not going to do like a super pretty halo eye, it seems like, because I don't have a darker shade to match this. But since my eyelid already has primer on it, technically you don't have to add any extra to the center for that little bit of highlight. But I just want to make sure it stands out. If your eyelid is hooded like me, you can just basically dab it, do this whole moment, and it'll kind of spread itself, you know, up where your hood goes so you can still see it. On top of that place I just cut out, I'm going to put Candy Cathedral, which is this kind of a chunkier shimmer, but the only one of the three we haven't used yet. So I'm going to pop this right on top. It's very crumbly, like it, you know, wants to make a mess, but the color itself is absolutely stunning and beautiful. Very cotton candy like. I'm gonna go with that same brush, no extra product, into this Princess Crown kind of topper shade and just tap over it for a little bit of extra glisten on top. Hopefully that shows up. It's, you know, not the most impactful, but it adds a little bit of something something on top of that other shade there. And now I'm gonna clean off that brush that I was using for the shimmery stuff and I'm gonna go into. Vatican Vanity, which was this deep purple shade. I'm not going to go into it super hard. I'm just going to take a little bit and just make sure I darken up the outer little bits of the outer and inner portion of my lid where we started packing originally, just to make that halo really pop, like to make this highlight very noticeable. For lower lash line, I'm going to take the E55 shade of brush from Sigma. I'm going to go into a shade we haven't used yet. So I'm going to go into the name shake, name sake, Pink Religion, which is kind of a pastel with a little bit of a purpley undertone to it. And I'm going to buff it under the lower lash line. For a little bit of glitter under my lower lash line, I'm going to take Peach Pretense from Stila on a little separate brush and do my little eye trick so I can brighten up, brighten up the inner portion of my eyes and my eyes look bigger. So I'm just going to add this under here and then I'm going to pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Don't we just love the little bit of glitter right here? It's so cute. Alright guys, this is the finished look using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion Eyeshadow Palette. What do we think? Here's my look up close for you. I think it's really pretty. Like I do wish there was more shimmer to it. But like overall, the eye look came out very nice. So I also decided I had like a mauve pink lip because I thought a really dark lip would look good with this, but I didn't know if it'd be too much with this hair. Let me know if you think a darker lip would look better with this down below. But anyways, let's get started talking about what I overall think of it. So the color scheme isn't something I would use all the time. I know, I'm not really a pink person, you know? I'm not really the pink bubbly kind of person. But when I do want a pink look, this would be a great resource for that. The packaging is like mwah, chef's kiss gorgeous like the quality of this faux leather the pretty gold pages in here like aesthetics a hundred thousand percent you know because again i'm not religious but the religious aesthetics being all frilly and filigree and everything is beautiful and i really love the gold pages too it just has like a really good look and it has a nice crispy clothes too. The inside color scheme I think could be improved. I personally think pinks and oranges and purples look great with one pop of yellow. You know, if you had one shade of yellow in here, maybe let's take out like this shade, pop in a yellow. I think that would make all the difference in the world to this color scheme. I would also like to see, I know it's a pink religion palette adding different colors, you know, people wouldn't like, but also we have other themed palettes like the blue blood and everything, different shades in it too. I really think that would have stood out. I think shimmers in here would have helped since we have three and one is kind of a see-through topper. I only really think we have two shimmers that matter in here. So I feel like maybe a darker shimmer in here or maybe like 
a lilac. I know it's technically purple, but I think that would have fit with a lot of the other shades in here and the lighter pinks in here. I think other shimmers would have helped. I do like there's this little pop of orange in here, which I think is nice, and a little bit of purple. It does break up the color scheme a little bit, but a lot of the shades do seem kind of repetitive. So overall, I do think the palette is beautiful. It's beautiful, and the color scheme inside could be improved, but it is very pretty, and the shades work. Like, I didn't have any issues with any of the shades. I did feel like some of them swatched better than others, but with pressed pigments in the palette as well, I can't really be too picky about these swatches as much. But overall, like, my favorite thing about it was this frosting cult shade because it literally feels like a moisturizer but not wet like it's that creamy it's so creamy and buttery and smooth and so pretty but anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what you think of this palette if you made it all the way to the end just leave me a hate comment about reviewing jeffrey's stuff you're a loser <laughs> can i say that i don't know um but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video have a great and safe day there wherever you are bye guys Okay, I look terrible. I just wanted to pop in here really quickly at the end of the video to tell you this look I did today, I only wore for the video, so I was wearing it about an hour and a half, and it stained my eyelids really bad. I've already washed my face twice, and I know you're not supposed to, but use a little bit of toner to try to remove the staining from my lid. Make sure you're prepared for this if you wear some of the darker pigments on your eyes.